The Beatles comparisons continue for K-pop sensation BTS, or probably they're getting even more intense, with a seven-member boy band becoming the first South Korean group to headline London's landmark Wembley Stadium. Four media outlets are touting the success of BTS and how K-pop is undeniably shaking the global music scene and impacting the global conversation. CNN label BTS quite possibly the biggest boy band in the world right now, comparing their enormous fandom in the U.S. to Beatlemania. It wrote in February 1964, an English boy band called The Beatles made its U.S. television debut. And in May 2019, over 55 years later, another band of foreigners played the same theater, but this wasn't The Beatles, it was BTS. It talked about how the two bands shared visual similarities with the same style of slim fit suits and floppy bowl cuts. Although lifelong Beatles fans might reject the comparison, CNN points out that BTS having managed to crack the American market was perhaps an even greater achievement than what the legendary British boy band was able to do. This is because most of their songs are in Korean and there's only one fluent English speaker in the group. And what sets them apart from other K-pop idol groups, most of them manufactured in so-called pop factories, they weren't with one of the country's three major entertainment companies. They didn't have industry connections or big money. Their upstart label Big Head had to find other ways to survive in the ultra-competitive K-pop industry, so what they relied on was social media as a means to promote the group. The article quotes a professor of East Asian Studies at University of Toronto, Michelle Cho, that BTS was one of the first K-pop groups on Twitter, posting blogs on YouTube and sharing their daily lives with fans on live streaming platforms like Africa TV and VLive. Their active interaction with fans online created an unprecedented kind of intimacy, and it was none other than ARMY, their dedicated fandom, that helped them break into the American market. BBC also talks about the role ARMY played that allowed BTS to stage a pair of sellout shows at London's most iconic stadium, following the likes of Queen, Elton John, Michael Jackson, Rolling Stones, and Madonna. It says, unlike previous Wembley headliners, they're not quite household names yet, but their fan base, dubbed the ARMY, is unusually devoted, highly mobilized, and growing daily. So as CNN puts it, it seems like the Hallyu wave that's growing in size with BTS's success is not just coming, but actually crashing upon U.S. shores. So as CNN puts it, it seems like the Hallyu wave that's growing in size with BTS success is not just coming, but actually crashing upon U.S. shores.